Okay, here we go. The start of everything. I'm getting into my car Ooh, to drive to Vegas. I'm gonna be staying at one of my best friend's house who lives in Vegas. And then the last night I'll be staying at the Bellagio, <laughs> camping out with Greg Goes All In. I invited him over because he didn't have a place to crash for the first night. So here we go. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is that I just don't like to, you know. <laughs> All right, we got the flush. Okay, he's got a set of eights. We got him. Hold. 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 <laughs> Tell him he's got a lot of class, and it's all low. This is the pinnacle of poker, the World Series. Even though I know my wallet will most likely be a little lighter at the end of this trip, I come to dream big, and what bigger dream than winning a 20,000-person tournament? Someone's going to win this thing, so <laughs> why not me? I'm playing the $500 housewarming event today. We start with 50,000 chips, and the first playable hand I pick up is jacks in the cutoff. I late registered, blinds are 400, 800, and the under the gun plus two opens to 1,600. We're going to start strong. I three bet to 4,800, but then the plus two player jams for 70,000. While jacks is a great hand, I still think we're most likely flipping at best, and I decided to let it go. In tournaments, you're going to play with a lot more shallow stacks than you do in cash game, so there are a lot of small spots that don't really require a lot of explanation, but are still really important because anytime you take down one of these pots, it helps your stack, especially when you have like 20 to 30 big blinds. So in this one, I have ace-queen off on the big blind, the hijack opens to 2.2k, I 3-bet to 8k, and he folds, I take it down, again, really important to the stack. This next hand is a tricky spot. I pick up eight, nine of clubs in the big blind. The under the gun limps 1K and the plus one player makes it 3.7K. The button calls, I call, and the under the gun calls as well. Four ways to a flop of deuce nine, four with two clubs. Cha-ching! You guys said I needed a catchphrase, so we're trying this one out. But I flop top pair and a flush draw. We check to the plus one player who continues for 7,100. The button folds and it's back to me. When the plus one player continues betting into three other people, I think he very likely has an overpair. I debate jamming, but I doubt he'll fold overpairs and will just end up coin flipping for my tournament life. I just call, and the turn is the seven of clubs, double cha-ching, we hit our flush. Here is the second point of inflection. Should I lead and jam for 32,000 or check to see what he does? I check, but he unfortunately checks back, and the river is the jack of clubs, bringing the fourth club. Of course, that always happens. Now, any high club beats my hand, so I check. He bets 20,000. I think he probably has a big pair with a club. I think there's better spots to take, so I fold. I don't know. How would you guys have played the hand? These guys have me losing money faster than the crypto market, but I refuse to go Luna. I pick up 9-10 of spades in the small blind. The low jack limps for 1.2k. The button makes it 4.5k. I call, but the big blind and limper fold. We're heads up to a flop of queen jack 5 rainbow. I have an open-ended straight draw and backdoor flush draw. I check, and the button bets 4k. I call. The turn is the 8 of clubs. Cha-ching! I hit the straight. I check, looking to double up through the button. He goes all in for my remaining 21k. I snap call. The river's a king. He shows queen king of clubs, and I take it down. Shortly before break, I pick up ace jack off on the button. The hijack opens to 4k. I take this opportunity to assert my dominance. I 3-bet to 12k. Uh, Break one. I went back to my car to get this battery because I wasn't planning on playing today's event, but uh, I showed up in time and here we are. Things are going okay. A little bit of a rough start. Had a couple of hands where I just had to let him go. May have misplayed the nine eight of clubs hand, but that's okay. We made it back up and we're sitting with 65K. Starting stack was 50K. So uh, I'm happy about that. We probably have a little over 30 big blinds when we come back. So we shall see anything can happen. Let's go, let's win this thing. 
Back from break, I have Jack Queen of Spades under the gun plus two. I open to four and a half K. Only the small blind calls and the flop comes queen seven eight with two spades. Having top pair and a flesh draw is about as good as it gets. So when he checks to me, I'm definitely going to bet. I'm not scared of many hands, so I only make a small bet of 4,000 and he calls. The turn is the four of spades. Cha-ching! We get the flush and better yet, the small blind leads for seven and a half K. It's definitely not enough. I raise to 21K and he calls. The river is an offsuit five, and now the small blind puts me all in for 36 and a half thousand. If he has a higher flush, I'll be knocked out of the tournament, but I'm never folding here, so I call, and he shows ace seven of diamonds that he tried turning into a bluff. About 20 minutes later, I pick up pocket queens on the button. The plus one player, same guy from last hand, opens to five and a half K. I make a standard three bet to 16 and a half K with one of the best hands in poker. He decides to call. The flop comes king, king, jack, rainbow. He shoves for 19,000. Again, you can't be scared of the monsters under the bed. I'm already quite invested in the hand. I make the call. If he has a king, I lose, but he shows six, seven of spades for a whole lot of nothing. And once again, he makes a hefty donation to the Branson Poker Fund. Next up, I'm on the big blind with king, queen. The under the gun opens to 6k and it folds to me. He should have a strong opening range from under the gun, so I just make the call and the flop comes 9, 9, 10 rainbow. I check and he checks back. The turn is a king completing the rainbow. On this board, I'm either way ahead or way behind, so given the fact I'm out of position, I check and my opponent bets 7k. I make the call. The river is an ace, terrible card. I check, and he now bets 16,000. Here's why the ace is a terrible river. This is roughly what his under the gun range should look like. We lose to pretty much every one of these hands, except for some of the tens and lower pocket pairs, but he should be checking those back a good amount of the time. If he does happen to have a weaker king, we now chop to it, so I just let this one go and move on. Break two. What's going on guys? We're on break number two. I'm sitting on a little over 200,000, which is really good right now. So hopefully we continue to run it up and back to the hands. We are back with six, seven off in the small blind. It folds to me and I decide to play aggressively as the big stack, try to get the snowball running and I raise to 8k. The big blind defends and the flop comes jack 5 8 rainbow. All things considered, this is a good flop for 6 7. I make a small c bet of 5k. He calls and the turn is a 2. Now I'm going to try to put pressure on his 5s, 8s, or pocket pairs that he might have called a small c bet on the flop with. I bet 16,000, but he goes all in for his remaining 55k and I just don't have enough equity to call, so I fold. After that, I'm able to take a pot down preflop with a three bet with ace king, but the blinds are getting expensive. I have to make something happen here, and I pick up pocket deuces in the low jack. Blinds are now 3k, 6k. Someone once told me deuces never loses, so now seems like as good a time as any to put it to the test. I make it 13,000. The cutoff then jams for 63,000, deflating any confidence I had in these small soldiers of mine. It folds back to me. It's 50K more to win a pot of 140K total. That means I need to win this more than 35% of the time for this call to be profitable. He should be shoving with most pocket pairs and a lot of broadways and suited aces. Okay. Um, deuces never loses. Let's go. I call. He has ace queen, so it's a 50 50 shot. The flop is clean. Let's go. Just no ace or queen. The turn is an ace. Great river king, and we are knocked to less than 20 big blinds. Blinds are up. I have 11 big blinds and need a miracle. And a miracle we get with pocket kings in the small blind. Under the gun opens to 16K. The cutoff jams for 88K. I am flying high. Time to do my happy dance. I'm all in for 86K. Everyone else folds. The cutoff has pocket tens. And we hold. This time we're really feeling like top gun. 
At this point in the tournament, there are a ton of short stacks, and I pick up Jack Queen of Diamonds under the gun plus one. I open to 21k, the plus two player calls, then the cutoff goes all in for 64k, and the big blind goes all in for 53k. It may seem like a lot, but these shoves are really only for six and five big blinds now this late in the tournament. I can't be folding my hand, so I make the call, but then the plus two player goes all in for 137k total. I'm invested, I'm getting roped in, this pot is huge, I make the call. The cutoff has pocket sevens, the big blind has ace jack, the plus two has ace king, come on one time. The flop is queen 10-5, we're ahead. The turn is a 2, making us an 80% favorite. River, 7. Unfortunately, this gives pocket 7s a set, but I still win the side pot, keeping our stack around the same size. I'm not going to lie though, this hand was pretty heartbreaking. I was so close to being the chip leader at the table, which would have given me a lot more maneuverability, but that's the way it goes, and moving on. We're getting close to the money now. I have queen five of spades in the big blind and the hijack opens to 20k. Queen five of spades isn't a great hand, but with the antes, I'm getting a great price. So I make the call and the flop comes ace queen seven with two hearts. I check the hijack puts in a small C bet to 15k and I make the call with mid pair. The turn is an eight. I'm just hoping to get to show down here. I check and he checks back. The river is a 9, we both check again, I show my cards, and they're good. Like I said earlier, any pot pushed our way is super important to our tournament life, so I'm happy to take it down. We're a matter of minutes away from cashing now, and I look at pocket 6s in the low jack. A lot of people are going to be afraid of getting out at this stage of the tournament, so it's a good time to apply pressure and try to pick up chips. I open to 28k and only the big blind calls. The flop comes ace-7 deuce with two hearts. I should have an ace a lot more than my opponent here, so when the big blind checks, I see bet 25k. He makes the call, and the turn is a king. Again, this card hits my range a lot harder than the big blinds, so when he checks, I bet 67k. This will hopefully fold out any 7, mid-pocket pairs, some flush draws, maybe even a weak ace that doesn't want to bust out of the tournament. Unfortunately, he doesn't fold, and the river is a 3. He checks once again. At this point, I don't think I'm pushing him off an ace. I check back. He shows ace-jack, and we lose this one. You're not all in the money. It's always a relief to be in the money, but now that I have a small stack, I pretty much have two moves, all in or fold. I'm in the big blind with jack eight of clubs, the button shoves for three big blinds, I call, he has a seven, and I lose. Then I shove queen deuce of clubs myself for four big blinds from the button, I get called by queen ten, and I win this time. I shove pocket sevens from mid position for six and a half big blinds, everyone folds, I pick up queen nine off in the big blind, the small blind limps, I think he's weak, so I shove eight big blinds, he folds, and we take it down, and then I pick up pocket queens in the big blind. The plus one player opens to 60k, here is my chance to double up with a premium hand, possibly get a playable stack. It folds around to me, I shove for 165k total, the plus one calls, and we're up against ace king. The flop comes king high, does not look good, turn two of diamonds, I need a queen or a diamond to stay alive, river four, and just like that we are out of the tournament. So I just got out in 334th place. Made $1,002. Um, I mean, it was a good start for um, the World Series, cashing my first one of this year. So that's good. Made $502 profit on this one. I don't know. Uh, might play the one tomorrow. Same tournament. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that is my update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.